Day seven of the Bride Chiller 30 Days of Wedding Planning, and it is one of my favorite topics. Are you ready? <gasps> the fuck it bucket. Oh my god. What the hell do we ever do without the fuck it bucket? The fuck it bucket just happens to be one of my most popular ever episodes of the Bride Chiller podcast. This is not a new concept. The fuck it bucket has been around for many a millennia. <laughs> I don't think that's true. But the concept of the fuck it bucket can be used in every sort of facet of your life. But in particular with weddings, I read a Reddit forum and there was people were talking about um, what sort of things that they want to ditch from their wedding and they referred to this thing called the fuck it bucket. And I was like, this is, oh my God, this is amazing. And I started talking about it on the podcast and it's sort of become a thing. If you're in the bride chiller community, you will see the people, people referring to it as FIB, fuck it bucket. And really, the fuck it bucket, the foundations of what it is, is <laughs> an imaginary or real container that you throw in all of your expectations, DIY projects that you forgot to do or started to do and actually fucking hate doing them, so ditching them. All of the traditions that aren't necessary to you or relevant to you that you just don't want to add to it. Extra stuff that wedding magazines and other media sort of say you have to buy when really you yeah, don't like favors if you're not into favors or chair covers which I fucking hate you can put them in the fuck it bucket it's become this really great expression in the bride chiller community and I love seeing people use it because it's empowering and literally every couple of days someone will start a new thread saying, what are you putting in the fuck it bucket this week? And it's amazing to see people just letting go of things that they thought were important to them, but actually are not. When it comes down to it, you just need two people and someone to make it legal to have a wedding and potentially a witness, depending on where you're getting married. So all of this extra stuff is just added stuff. And yeah, it might be great to have some great food and music, but does anyone really give a shit about the little favors that you put on the table? And, uh, you know, I mean, for me, in Australia, the big thing is to give sugar-coated almonds. <laughs> I've only eaten them, uh, and it's an Italian thing. It started, it's not an Aussie thing, but there's, it became a thing in Oz where I, I grew up um, for people to leave bonbonieri, is what you call them, bonbonieri, uh, on the table, and they're sugared almonds. They've got meaning. I can't remember what it is right now. Just Google it. But I don't think they taste very good. And I would eat them drunk in the back of a cab on the way back from the, the wedding, but they don't mean much to me. Same with people giving out CDs of mixed tapes or USBs. It's like, I don't fucking... I'm going to save over your USB of all your favourite music and put my... Real Housewives of Beverly Hills on it. I don't care. And it's not me being an asshole, although it might come across that way. It's me saying these are not the memorable things that I take away from a wedding. I take away the, the feeling and being with other people and seeing genuinely people having a lovely time and a couple being in love. And it's not about sugared almonds or special bloody you know, bottles of jam that you've created, which are all beautiful, but they're unnecessary and they're not worth stressing about. And no one is going to leave a wedding going, I just wish they'd given us some specialty handmade jars of jam. I mean, it would have been a much better wedding if I'd had some specialty handmade jars of jam. The same thing is that no one is going to leave a wedding saying, I can't believe they had naked chairs. I can't believe they didn't put chair covers on the chairs. I mean, who do they think they are? Who do they think they are? I really hate chair covers. Not for the people running businesses, renting people chair covers. I don't have a problem with you people. I just think the concept of chair covers is really something that is more of a metaphorical thing, is that it's something that is unnecessary, that unless you're using, you know, big old plastic chairs, I don't, actually, I don't even care. Big old plastic chairs are fine that at five dollars a head there's probably 50 million other things you could spend that five bucks a head on or keep it in your pocket and buy a house or go on a freaking amazing holiday so that's what i say the fuck it bucket is an amazing thing the the topic of fuck it bucket I, i'll be honest with you i've got pages in the, this is the bride chiller survival guide this is my uh wedding planning guide that i wrote myself 
and we've also got the field guide but that's for another day that's upside down so that's good promotion um, but in the fuck it bucket chapter I literally I go through pages and pages of stuff that you could very well place in the fuck it bucket like like 10 pages and this stuff could all be things that you want to add to your to your wedding and that's fine because you do you my friends do whatever you want but don't feel obliged to buy all this stuff because everyone else buys it because no one cares that is the fuck it bucket what are you going to put in your fuck it bucket i would love to know would you leave me a comment below would you share with everyone inspire people to put stuff in their fuck it buckets that is my wish for today also, I'd love you to listen to the Bride Chiller podcast, over 300 episodes, hosted by moi. And I interview a bunch of fantastic wedding experts, psychologists, I've got relationship people. It's not about the planning. Well, it is about the planning, but it's not about the aesthetics of the day. It's about finding a balance. It's looking at how to plan without losing your marbles and maintain your chill. There it is. I've just summed it up. Made that up on the spot. Until tomorrow's episode, I wish you all a delicious and wonderful happy day.